for you and me and billions worldwide, health is a concern. We never know what's going to hit us. The epidemics of diabetes, hypertension, infection. So what are we going to do to provide that critical early warning? Do we expect all of us to do a blood test on a regular basis? So here is a crazy idea. How about we change our morning routine and update our health profile by simply scanning our eyes? Because eyes are a window into our health. So how good a job are we doing in peering into this window for getting cataract test, we're using these old devices, to get retinal exams. We're using these really expensive devices, but check out the user interface. The nurse has to shove my head <laughs> so that my eye is aligned. I mean, I can use some complicated instruments, you know? And lost in a foropter to get eyeglasses. So we're making some progress in looking into our eyes. To get prescription for eyeglasses, we have created a device called iNetra, which is a snap-on eyepiece that goes on top of a phone. You look through this, click on a few buttons, and when you're done, hit calculate, and it gives you data for a prescription of your eyeglasses. Your nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. And as a bonus, it also scans for your cataracts. That's the front of the eye. But there's so much more. As we peer deep into the eye, we look at the sclera, the iris. And as we zoom in, we can look at the back of the eye, the vitreous humor, the retina, the retinal epithelium, the blood vessels, and even the blood cells. It's all out there. And we can see that without cutting ourselves open. We can see the density of red, green, and blue cones. Some amazing devices that are being built worldwide can even see blood flow. For normal and diabetics, we can see very clearly how the blood flow is unique and different. And putting it all together with some instruments like confocal imaging, adaptive optics, and scanning laser ophthalmoscopes, we can literally slice and see into our eye. The blood flow, the blood structure, even a blood count of red and white blood cells. So what we can achieve is impressive, but the instruments, unfortunately, are also impressive. And this is where the research is today. In the meantime, there are 300 million people worldwide, diabetics, and more than half of them are never going to see a doctor, which means they will develop retinopathy and lose vision. So what can we do with some unique approaches and make all of us part of that process? So we're creating portable solutions which require some user interaction. But it's not just a dream. We can start building it today. So my team at MIT Media Lab is building this new type of portable solutions that allow us to see into the eye, into your retina, into the blood vessels. And these are very interesting approaches. And we can build them in form factors like, uh, like, like eyeglasses. Or we can do even better and start creating imagery that goes all the way out to the periphery, 120 degrees. So you can see the optic disc, the macula, fovea, and so on. So the question is, can we do it even on a phone? So here's what our team is developing now. A device that's as easy as a toothbrush. You can use that right in front of your eye and update your health profile by scanning your eye. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> so what are we going to do when we have solutions like this? Of course, 
years of research in my team has gone into building solutions like that. So my student Everett Lawson is actually just hiding what's behind the phone because there's a lot of electronics and optics and waveguides and new types of computational photography that allows us to convert phones into something that allows us to scan the retina. So what does it mean when we can create such portable solutions and start deploying them? And it's not just you individually who's going to use it, but all your neighbors, the whole city, the whole countries. And if you can validate that in the cloud, we can convert this hardware problem into a data problem and scan individual over time or populations at the same time. And we can get closer to predictive analytics and predict for different ethnicities, for different geographical regions, how your health and wellness is being impacted from the choices you make and from your environment. Now, the, the prevalent theory says eyes are a window only to the current health. And only after you're diagnosed with one of these conditions, you would go see an eye doctor to monitor the progress. But monitoring is like saying, when there is a storm outside, stay safe inside. And to some extent, ophthalmologists are already creating first indications and telling us that those gusty winds are an onset of a storm nearby. In, especially in developing countries, ophthalmologists are the first one to start detecting hypertension because it starts manifesting in the eye. And many such systemic conditions, such as AIDS and CMV, would lead to features in the eye that the doctors will often diagnose and say you have a bigger problem than just your poor vision. For arthritis, for cholesterol, the ophthalmologists are first in the line of defense. But we need to do better than that. We need to go beyond monitoring and providing first indicators and become predictors that on a bright, sunny day, a hurricane is going to hit us next Wednesday at 5.30 PM with that accuracy. And for that, we need a global view. We need to have eyes in the sky, our eyes in the cloud. And with that, we might be able to create solutions that are true predictors of the future health when you do your eye scan. So some researchers are already exploiting how microvasculature changes in the eye before any other part of the body because of an onset of stroke of, or a heart attack. Or how your nerve fiber layers are impacted, your neurological conditions, because of conditions like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. So these are really interesting opportunities. And also neuromuscular conditions, your pupil opening, your eyelids, strabismus, and so on. And why eye? Because it's the only place in the body where we can see blood, blood vessels, your vascular health, and also your neurological health in a single place in great fine details because the eye has some of the finest features that can be observed. So our effort, a new initiative, iMitra uh, at MIT Media Lab, is trying to pull together a lot of collaborators in various aspects to try address this problem. And if you want to become and achieve this dream over the next 10 or 20 years of health predictive analytics through highly portable solutions, we need to create new devices, new portable devices that do as well as those research devices you saw earlier. We need to create new algorithms to analyze the data and image processing. We need to work with the health system to provide the validation. And of course, we have to do a lot of big data analysis to provide those solutions. So when it really comes to taking charge of our health, we are not outsiders. We are not just going to wait for the rest of the world, for the rest of the health system to provide those early warnings. I think as doctors, as data scientists, as engineers, as policymakers, 
as social scientists, as behavioral scientists, and all of us need to solve this problem by seeing an eye to eye. Thank you.